Hi, I'm Amy Karanik, and I'm excited to introduce you to some basic techniques in oven-baked clays. I've personally been working with oven-baked clay since 1989, and I find it to be the most satisfying art medium that I've ever used. The vibrant colors are so inspiring. The touch and feel of oven-baked clay in your hands is so relaxing and therapeutic. And with the full line of Sculpey oven-baked products, the possibilities are truly endless. So what is oven-baked clay? Well, it's an easy to use soft modeling material that's non-toxic. It bakes um, permanently hard in your home oven or craft dedicated oven. It's really great because you don't need a kiln. It's free of common allergens such as wheat, dairy, and nuts. The work surface is a very important item to consider when using oven-baked clay. You wanna protect your work surface. Just like you would if you were painting or using glues or spray paints, you want to cover the surface to protect any good furniture or flooring from your medium. Good work surfaces include glass, ceramic tile, cardstock, a dedicated baking pan. Today I've chosen a large piece of cardboard covered in baking parchment. Today we're going to be talking about Sculpey 3, Primo Sculpey, and Pluffy. Once these clays are cured, any of them can be sanded, buffed, drilled, or painted with acrylic paints. Sculpey 3 comes in 44 vibrant colors. It's really soft and easy to work, which makes it perfect for figurines, home decor, basic jewelry, or seasonal items. When your project is done, you bake it in your home oven at 275 for 15 minutes per quarter inch of thickness. Primo Sculpey comes in 32 lustrous colors, including a gold and a silver, and a series of pearlescent colors. Primo Sculpey is based on an artist color palette. That means that you have complete control over color blending. Primo Sculpey comes to a workable state with minimal conditioning, and it stays soft and pliable, but also offers extra resistance without crumbling. When you're done with your project, Primo bakes in your home oven at 275, for 30 minutes per quarter inch of thickness. And Primo Sculpey is one of the strongest oven-baked clays on the market. And Pluffy is our newest brand of oven-baked clay. It comes in 16 fun colors. It's super lightweight and extra soft, but it bakes up really hard. There's no cracking or breaking, even if you form large pieces. It's super soft and easy to handle. You can create anything with it, and it even floats. When you're done with your project, bake it in your home oven at 275 for 15 minutes per quarter inch of thickness. Conditioning is a really important aspect when working with oven-baked clay, and all oven-baked clays must be conditioned before they're used. When you condition the clay, you're just mixing ingredients together to get them working well with each other. You can condition by hand, like I'm doing, just by squishing and squishing and making the clay smooth and pliable. This also prevents cracking when the clay project bakes in the oven. To condition by hand, I'll generally work the soft clay into a ball and then pancake it out between my palms. When baking in your home oven or a dedicated craft oven, you'll want to use an oven thermometer. Place the oven thermometer inside your oven and preheat the oven to 275. Now monitor the oven's temperature against the thermometer, not the gauges on the outside of your oven. Once your oven has been at 275 for a few minutes, you're ready to bake. Place your projects on the middle rack, at least four inches from the top or bottom elements, and set the timer for the amount of time specified on the package for the brand of clay that you've chosen. Clean up is a snap. I always keep a box of baby wipes on hand at my studio table. I use them to clean my hands between color changes and to wipe off my tools to get any extra clay debris. When I'm completely done with the project, I wash my hands and my tools with soap and water. Those are the basics of working with oven-baked clay. Next, let's take a look at the tools that will make the process even easier.